I tend to tweak my flare setup often, and I've recently added a few pieces to help my workflow. So today I'd like to share with you these updates and my progress in brewing with the flare. At least from my experience, sometimes keeping the base stabilized can be a challenge. In one sense, maybe it's by design. It does keep you from exerting too much pressure, but I prefer a stable base and a sense of having more control of the shot. The rubber feet on the bottom of the flare can be removed. And instead, I installed some hex standoffs. The diameter is six millimeters. The fit is slightly loose. I explored making it fit tighter by using some shrink wrap tube, but the fit is really tight. So for now, I decided against it so that it's easier to separate for storage. I bought a sturdy cutting board with the idea of using it as a stable platform. I then secured the standoffs onto the cutting board. The flare fits pretty snug and is very stable. Another challenge is finding a scale to fit underneath. I use this one and it works well for me. But sometimes I want to use a different scale. Although this works, it doesn't really fit that well. Sometimes you can just remove the drip tray. That'll free up a little bit of space. But to give me more options, I made this platform. This gives me much more flexibility in the scales I can use. Or I can change the orientation if I need to. This does leave you with less room under the basket though. So I can only use small cups with this setup. I've also added a couple tools to help me during cleanup. After pulling a shot, sometimes the brew head is a little hot to handle and sometimes it's hard to get a good grip on the basket. These tongs help me grip the basket securely. This magnet makes it easy to grab the shower screen. And now I can knock out the puck into my grounds bin. So here's my updated workflow. I feel like my workflow is getting better. A lot of this is now becoming second nature. With these new additions, I've addressed some of the challenges that I've been experiencing. My shots have been pretty consistent. I still have a little issue here and there, but I think overall, I'm seeing a steady improvement. But here's a shot of the pool. I'll let you be the judge.
I think there's always room for improvement, but I feel like I'm well on my way. So has all of this helped me pull better shots? Well, I think so. One thing I do know for sure, I like how my workflow continues to evolve. And most of all, I enjoy making the process my own. And I think that's the beauty of the flare.